Hey guys, it's Audrey, and as you guys can tell, I'm back in Davis now. I'm back in college. When I was back in Atlanta, I went to the March for Our Lives, which was a lot of fun and super inspiring. There are so many amazing signs. <laughs> this one, let me put a picture of it. This one's definitely my favorite one. It's beautiful. I hope they did it on purpose. They didn't. It makes it even better. <laughs> So that was a lot of fun. Here's a little short montage of that because I filmed a lot at that march, so. to get back into the groove of things. I'm kind of mad at myself for not posting on Friday, but at the same time, I was home, I was trying to see my friends and hang out with my family, so, you know, I'm kind of giving myself a pass here, but normally I really like to stick to my schedule, so yeah, it does bother me when I don't post on time. I wanna talk a little bit quickly about quantity versus quality when it comes to YouTube videos, because I like to post twice a week. I used to only post once a week. Like at the beginning of this year, I switched to twice a week, and ever since I switched, I've really, really liked it. It's a challenge for me creatively, because it's really, hard to come up with two solid ideas every single week. I don't know, I'm just really happy when I upload and it makes me feel productive and I like creating things for you guys, so I'm also really busy um, right now. I want to give you guys an update on, remember that video I filmed like a couple weeks ago now where I talked about is going to film school worth it? Well, I'm still kind of you know, in that process of debating what I'm going to do next year and I'm starting to get more of an idea of what I'm going to do so maybe I'll make an update video for you guys. I'm starting to like make big decisions. It's all part of the journey and it's kind of scary and I just realized that this angle is completely crooked. What was I saying? I just completely got distracted. Yeah, so this idea of quantity versus quality when it comes to YouTube videos, because I think it's good to have a consistent upload schedule and make sure you're posting regularly. But at the same time, when you get too obsessed with that schedule, you can kind of start sacrificing quality for the sake of quantity. So on Tuesday, I literally made that video Tuesday morning and I posted it Tuesday and I made it really fast, but like I got up early and I edited until like, two in the afternoon. I'm happy with that video, but I know it's not my best work because I just didn't have enough time to put all the finishing touches. A lot of you in the comments are like, Audrey, color grading exists. I was, when I was literally editing that footage, um, I was like, I could definitely try, like I would like to test out color grading on this, but I didn't because I was just like, I gotta post this. I can't like, you know, take too much time anymore. It's already like one I need to post in an hour. So I know that's kind of ridiculous, but it is like a struggle. I feel like a lot of YouTubers and creatives in general can relate with this. So let me know if you struggle with this as well and how do you find that balance between being consistent and also keeping your quality up? Because especially if you're a student or 
you know, most of us are not full-time YouTubers. I feel like it's hard to, you know, keep up with both. Personally, for me, how I try and keep the balance is I integrate YouTube as like a into my schedule. So I'm like, I know I post every Tuesday and Friday. It's not, I might, it's I am. So it's a part of my actual schedule. I treat it like, like a school, like a subject in school. It's just something I have to do every week and I like to do it. So it makes it really easy. I mean, really easy. It's hard, but I like doing it. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. I would love to know in the comments down below. Also, I just wanted to mention so the Ember challenge results are out and thank you to everyone who submitted. There were so many awesome submissions. Some of you got really creative with them, which I thought was super interesting. How I'm going to do this is there are going to be two winners. There's going to be the community voted winner that I told you guys to vote for. The winner with eight Ember likes, I don't know what to call them, was this picture by Nira Naira Pictures. Naira Nira. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I really like this picture. I love how you used water, but not in like a super obvious way, but it's still there like in the tin at the bottom. So very creative. Hats off to you. Good job. I really like this picture. I'm gonna show you guys just one that I personally like that was not the community favorite. There's so many good options though. Like, I don't know what to do. I just thought this one by Red Eakin. Red Eakin. Can I read? No, Red Dyken. I just thought this one was really interesting and it's a different, it's not just like a camera. But thank you to everyone who submitted, like this is insane. I'm so happy with how how much you guys liked this challenge. And I'm also going to be announcing the next Ember challenge the day I post this video in my Discord. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you join it with the link in the description that's always there. If you don't follow me on my socials already, I highly suggest you do because if I don't post, Normally, I will update you guys on there. Apparently, YouTube is not notifying all of your subscribers anymore for some reason. So make sure you click that little bell icon down below so that you actually get notified when I upload a video. I know it's kind of strange, like you already have to press subscribe. Now you also have to press the bell, like I don't understand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you this Friday with another new video. Bye!